Hello and welcome back everyone. My name is Seth and I'm bringing you guys another part of the Discord bot tutorial series. Um, so in this video, we're going to be making our balance command. Super simple, shouldn't take us too long. So let's go ahead and hop into that. In our commands folder, we're going to right click it and do new file. We're going to type balance.js just like that. In here, we're going to go ahead and add a few things. We're going to add mongoose. Uh, we're going to require that to be a mongoose. We installed that in our last video. If you did not watch the last video, you need to go back and rewatch it. Um, and we're going to also do const bot config equals require. And we're going to do dot dot slash bot config dot json, just like that. And then we got to connect to our database. We're going to do mongoose.connect. And we're going to do bot config.mongo pass, comma, curly braces. And here we're going to use, uh, we're going to do use new URL parser. And we're going to set that to true. I'm going to put a comma, go down and do use unified topology. We're going to set that to true. And then we're going to be done with that part. Next, we can go ahead and add our model that we created in the last video right here. We're going to do const data equals require dot, oops, dot, dot, slash models slash data dot JS, just like that. Then we can go ahead and do module.exports. Uh, it's easier to just copy it from your other commands. So just highlight everything in ping and paste it in. We're going to switch this to balance. And we're also going to add bal down here just because I like that. You can also do like money and you can do whatever else. Just make sure you separate them with commas and you put them inside double quotes. Uh, we can go ahead and delete this. Uh, next we're going to do data.find1 and we're going to uh, do parentheses and then curly braces enter down user id and we're going to look for user.id and then in between here we're going to do comma and then uh, uh, parentheses error data and then in between here we're going to do arrow function curly braces enter down we're going to do if data does not exist then we're going to go ahead and create this um, for this part we need to do const new data because if the data doesn't exist we need to create it so new data and then enter down and in here uh, we're basically just going to enter all the stuff that uh, we want in our uh, data. So we actually created a nice little layout here. So we can go ahead and, and copy this just for a quick second so we don't miss anything. And just like that, uh, for name, we're going to do message.author.username. For ID, we're going to do message.author.id. For leaderboard, we're going to set this to a string of all. I just like to do that for the leaderboard video later. We're going to set money to zero. We're going to set XP to zero. We're going to set our daily to uh, zero. And then that's it for that. We can also do uh, here, we're going to do new data dot save. Then in, uh, after that, we're going to do dot catch error, arrow function console dot log error, just like that. And then after that, we're going to do return message dot channel, whoops, channel dot send. And we are going to send a message that says you have zero dollars. Because if they don't have any data, then we just gave them zero. So they have zero dollars. So we can hard code that. Um, and then uh, after this, we're going to do else like that. And we're going to just return message dot channel whoops, channel dot send, 
And in here, we're going to put back ticks instead of double quotes. Make sure you do back ticks. It's above the tab key on the left hand side of your keyboard. That is very important. A lot of people make that mistake. So we need back ticks. And then we're going to put you have a dollar symbol and then another dollar symbol and then uh, curly braces. So the dollar symbol here, oh, this dollar symbol, which is supposed to go on this side, that is just text. We're just using that to show that it's a money. Uh, this dollar symbol and these curly braces together lets us put a variable inside of a string, but we must have back ticks to do that. So that's the explanation behind that. So we're going to go ahead and do data because we're grabbing this data variable. It's grabbing the data from the database. And then we're going to do dot money because we have a money um, uh, property. So we're going to go ahead and just put a period there and that off. And we're going to save this. Then we can go ahead and do new terminal run node dot open up discord let me just pull it over and if i go ahead in videos and i run j balance we actually have an error so let's take a look user is not defined i just simply forgot to do, 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 do. where did i have user oh user id we want message dot author dot id i apologize for that uh, so we're gonna go ahead and save that we can go back here do uh, Control C to kill the bot and pull up this line here. It won't look exactly like mine, but it'll be similar. It'll be a directory. And then you can go ahead and type no dot and enter. It'll say your bot's online. And we can pull up Discord and do J balance. And it'll tell us we have zero dollars. Now, if we head into our cluster real quick, we can go into collections and you'll see that it created a data for us. In this data, there's actually a little edit thing that you can do. And then we can change any value in here. So from within here, you can go ahead and change values in your database. So now if we head back to Discord and we run the balance command. Once again, you'll see we have $1,000. I just input that in the database. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If this video helped you or you just, you know, it was fun to watch, I guess, uh, go ahead and leave a like down below. It really helps up my channel. And consider subscribing for more videos. Catch you guys later.